Yo, what is going on guys? It's Cyberporn82 here. Welcome to the channel. Subscribe, turn on that post notification, drop a bit that like. It's been a while. I mean, IRL content. So today I'll be showcasing my Yu-Gi-Oh! collection of all of the play maps and spell grounds that I own. And yeah, let's get started, you guys. Alright, you guys. So I'm going to showcase in my um, play maps first before this after that in the spell grounds. <clears throat> So anyways, this is the Blue Eyes White Dragon Spirit Dragon 2016 Regional that I taught my very first time. This is a wonderful, great memory. I cannot believe I was X11. I believe there were 8 rounds, I believe so. 6 wins, 1 loss, and 1 draw. So that was pretty cool. I really love it. I believe the last time I saw on on uh, somebody tried to sell this on eBay it was like out of stocks. The last time somebody sold was $300, so that's crazy. I feel like this might go up in the future since it's a um, really nice artwork plus blue white. It's the most signature of Yu Gi Oh! of all time, and yeah. Alright, so the second play, man, I'll show you guys Core TCG. Core TC is just, uh, as you guys can tell um, right here, Amanda LaPalm signed in, I believe this was 2015 or 16 during the Cleave for Shadal, Burning the Biz that Patrick Colbert won. It was YCS Anaheim, so it was pretty cool. Really loved that. And plus, it was $10 during that time, so that was really nice. I'm not quite sure if you guys can see the signature right here. It's so hard to get focused, but yeah, that's the signature. Amanda LaPalm, aka Dragon Duelist Girl. And I got this regular playmat. This was my actually uh, second playmat I ever got playing Yu-Gi-Oh. This is my friend Jonathan. Jonathan, you're watching this man. You're the real homie. But yeah, so it's really cool. He actually, it was a plain old yellow uh, playmat first. And he started drawing the zones, the gadgets, the deck, the banish, the Yu-Gi-Oh, the feud spell. You guys remember those old Yu-Gi-Oh feud spell, spell right there. Unfortunately, Link is like right here, and Pendulum is like still right here, and yeah, so it's pretty cool. That's really nice of you. Now we got the wonderful tour guide from the Underworld. Why is Long Beach? Unfortunately, I didn't make it to this event. I believe Mike Belong got first place playing, and it's pretty cool. It's showing all the 100 YCS that have been um, that have been hosted in the past, and yeah, it's pretty cool artwork and. I still see people still use this as today, such as regional YCS as well. Really nice, really nice. Now we got the wonderful Yu-Gi-Oh! 2011 OG. I'm not quite sure. Um, this is a show and jump one. We got Yusei Fudo, we got Yang Yugi or Pharaoh. We got Jin Yugi, it's pretty cool, all their signature and yeah, I'm not quite sure this was like a tournament during the back in the day. If you guys do know, you guys let me know in the comments right now. And now we got the Lentians, um, Matt, I believe this is Dragoon, Dragoon and, um, some Dragon, some, um, I'm not quite sure, but if you guys do know, let me know. It is called the Realm of the Sea Emperor Structure Deck, it's pretty cool. I went, uh, I got this from the Redeem of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Yu -Oh! World World Championship 2013, I believe so, during Dragon World 12 or 13, one of those, I don't remember the top of my head at the moment. But it's really cool that you, uh, you play these carnival games, you get points, and once you get these points you save up, you can claim this. I believe this just was like 10 points of carnival. So this was really nice. I wish back in the day I got the uh, magician one because that's worth like probably a thousand dollars I would say so. But yeah. Now I'm showcasing you guys my spell ground right now. Alright you guys, part two. So I just stacked up all the spell grounds and let's get started. We got the one and only 1994 spell ground, the OG, not the reprint. As you guys can tell, it's all fluffy one, if you guys can tell. But these are the original, these are the first one came out and it's ridiculous price that sh uh, shot up. I believe the last time I saw was probably uh, 18900 or 1400 plus dollar. People would sell ridiculous three to four thousand dollars because this is um, very small print. And also it's super soft compared to the other spell grounds as well. This is one of my favorite ones. I recently picked it up and it's a really nice feeling of it. And most pro players use it as well. Now we got the one and only uh, Jobber aka Gem Playmat. 
gem play mat. Uh, there's not that many copies out there, and it's really cool. I love the artwork represent Jabra, aka Jesse, and yeah, and the feeling's really nice. It kind of like feel like the 1994, but it's a little bit. Um, but yeah, the funny thing when I use this events before, people say, "Oh, are you are you from Team Jobber? I say, "No," <laughs> but it was actually really crazy. People actually think I'm from Team Jobber team. But yeah, really nice, really nice. Now we got the Midnight Blue. There's not that many print in the world, and it's really nice. It's like basically all bluish and white, and yeah, a lot of pro players back in the day use it. You guys know who you are, and yeah, I remember like Oliver Michael, one of my favorite players that used this, and uh, yeah, he kind of like basically gave me motivation. Now we got the uh, we got the uh, Catalina. Not that many print. It's crazy. This is went up in value. There's not that many print as well. If they try to make the same replica, I believe the Catalina or the Midnight Blue or the Light Blue one. But it looked pretty cool. It's dark blue um, with light blue at the same time. So I don't think we never rarely see that. And yeah, really nice. Now we got the light. I believe this is the light blue spell ground. It's kind of the same thing like the one with the Midnight Blue. Only a little bit different is that it's a lighter light and also um a uh, light blue as well just a, like barely it's kind of like darkish so, some some what it's kind of hard to explain but i'm pretty sure you guys would know as the picture uh, of the video from it now we got the the 2011 10 this is people think it's this is the original it's actually not because of the fabric and i wish this was the 1994 um 10 but it looked really nice and yeah what do you guys think now we got the mushroom spellground. I believe Oliver Tomiko used this. It used to be Dragon Duelist and really good, do well in events. Uh, Pro player used these as well, so I can say why not. Uh, it was actually um, pretty pretty decent price back in the day. I'm pretty sure spellground these days went up, so really nice. And yeah, I just like the theme. It's like old brownish one as well. Now we got the moss spellground. Kind of remind me as the steel one, it sadly got faded, it's really nice, really nice feeling, and I believe this was my second or third spellground I ever got um, while playing this game since um, spellground was a big thing during the time and still big as today. Now we got the wonderful PBG top cut, I believe you can get this top 16, I did not top, haha <laughs> pretend I did, I really did not. One of the person, I believe, got top four or third place um, selling this spell ground for only 20 bucks. So that's a steal. I believe they're, they're worth more than that. So it's really nice. And it got the zones to represent PPG and from Dragon Ink, you know. Now we got the steel. Kind of remind me of the 1994, only a difference that it's a little bit rough, a little bit darker, and yeah. And the last two more, we got the pink spellground, aka the link. Really nice, uh, really nice with my count color case. If you guys know, I have a count color case with uh, pink that uh, match with this one. I really like the vibes, you know. So sadly, it is it is getting fading over time. And uh, the last one is the PBG anime. I'm not quite sure this is an anime or some Yu-Gi-Oh character, but you guys do know. Let me know. I won this side event. I paid an extra ten dollars, so I believe this was thirty-five. I no, I believe this was like thirty. I think. Uh, excuse me. What? Um, I won the side event of the Go format, so I paid an extra ten or fifteen dollars to get this play map. So it's really nice. And the cool thing about it, the feeling's really nice. It's super soft. You can watch this so they did don't get faded and yeah because these are hard ink and yeah. If you guys made the video all the way to the end, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, turn up on notification. Let me know what you guys think of these playmat and also what do you guys um what are your favorite and what kind of playmat or spellgun so do you guys have to leave in the comments below and your boy Cyberborn92 is signing out.